screen fans. Welcome back to my channel. This is RCV Movie Reviews. My name is Alan Brinker and do you like scary movies? I am sure I like in scary movies because today I'm going to review the newest installment in this huge franchise, Scream. This movie is not directed by Wes Craven who directed the first full Scream movies. This movie is directed by the directors who directed Ready or Not. Really enjoyed that movie. This is the fifth installment in the Scream franchise and this movie has the original cast and a new cast into the table, including Nev Campbell, Courtney Cox, David Arquette, including some new people, including Melissa Berea and Jenny Ortega. 25 years after the original series of murders in Woodsboro, a new ghost face emerges and Sydney Prescott must return to uncover the truth. Now, I really enjoyed the Scream franchise. I think it's probably one of my favourite horror franchises of all time. I really enjoyed the first Scream movie. I think it's one of my favourite horror films and slasher films of all time. It's a cult classic, of course. And the sequels, they're hit and miss. I love the second movie. I thought the second movie was actually a lot of fun. The third movie, in my opinion, sucks. And the fourth movie was actually surprisingly very underrated. I really enjoyed the full Scream movie. So, we got the fifth movie in the Scream franchise. And unfortunately, it's not directed by Wes Craven because he tragically passed away. Rest in peace. This took from the directors, like I said, of Ready or Not, which I really enjoyed that movie. So, this movie kept me very, very skeptical. I watched the trailers. It looks like it's going to be one of those utter nostalgic movies that's going to take over the nostalgic more than the story itself, like Matrix Resurrections, for example. I have a bit of low hope when it comes to this movie, especially that I love this franchise. I don't want this new reboot and sequel to ruin it, like the movie says, it's a reboot quill. So I don't want this reboot quill to basically ruin this franchise that I actually really enjoyed. And guys, I gotta say, I had a blast with Screen 5. I'm going to call it Screen 5, not Screen, because what is with new horror movies in a franchise have to be called the same name as the original movie? What is with that? Like Halloween, for example. Like, what is with that? Just call it Screen 5. Are you scared to call it Screen 5? Are you really scared to call it that? Honestly, so I'm going to call it Screen 5. Hopefully that's okay with you. I really enjoyed Screen 5. This movie actually really surprised me. I actually had a lot of fun with this movie. There are some things that really surprised me with Screen 5. For example, I would say... The kills in this film. I would say the kills out of the entire Scream franchise, this is the most brutal. The kills in the film are unbelievable. There are some really awesome kills in the film. Ghostface, of course, he is awesome. He's one of my favorite slashers in any horror movie franchise. And of course, Ghostface is still the same old Ghostface that I loved from the original Scream movies. Even the same guy that voiced Ghostface in the original movies came back to do this film. And he's still great. I loved this slasher killer in the franchise and in this movie it was so good to see him return. And even the cinematography of this film got much more better than the other movies. I love the cinematography in the film. It definitely pays a lot of tribute to Wes Craven's work and I really did like that in this film. The score as well is also really well done. It is so brutal and intensity and I thought the score of this film really grabs my attention. But of course we're going to talk about the cast in this film because we have the original cast in the film but we also got some new cast members and I want to talk about the new cast members first because that's the thing I was mostly very worried about. But I gotta say, the new cast members actually really surprised me, especially Melissa Barrera. Hopefully I said her name right. She was in In the Heights and she was very, very good in that film. And in this film, she's also really great in the film as the main lead. She's technically the main lead in this film. The original characters aren't really the spotlight in this film. It's more about the new characters. The old characters are basically along for the ride. But I would say her character in this film really surprised me. I actually really liked her character in this film. She has a backstory that I wasn't expecting and it's really well put together. But also we have Jenny Ortega in the film. My god, she is probably one of the most surprising out of any of the new actors in the film. She is so fantastic in this film. She's probably the most believable out of all the actors in the film. When she is scared, you believed it in this film and it's really well done. I don't want to spoil her character that much because she wasn't really much in the trailers. So I don't want to spoil her character, but she is really fantastic in the film. We also got Melissa Barrera's boyfriend in the film, who was also really good in the film. He's this sarcastic boyfriend that's along for the ride. I really like him in the film. He's a lot of fun in the film. There are even some characters that really crack me up in this film. And that's what's also really good about this film is that this film is the new generation of Scream. They mention a lot of new horror films, like the A24 horror films in the film. They mention like The Witch and Hereditary, and I was literally surprised they go through that. I thought it's going to be like the original Scream movies all over again. That's going to talk about the same like motivations and all that stuff. No, 
This movie is also screened for a new generation and I really do like that in this film and I like that it took place basically in this modern era. But we also got the original cast coming back like Nip Campbell returning as Sydney Prescott. Oh my god, she is badass in the film. If you're expecting to see most of the old cast in the film, you really won't get that in this film. They're basically side characters in the film. Like, Sydney really wasn't in the movie all that much, but when Nev Campbell is on screen returning as her iconic character in the series, she is badass. Probably the most badass I've seen her out of the entire franchise. Courtney Cox also returning as Gail Webbers. I think she was great in the film also, and I think her chemistry with Sydney in the film, I really like them two together in this franchise, and in this film, it didn't change. Their chemistry is still there. But I would say, the actor, not just that one of the best out of the old actors, but I think the actor that stole this movie in general is David Arquette returning as Dewey. He was great in this film. Probably the best I've seen out of Dewey out of this whole entire franchise. He is so great in this film. He is basically in the movie more than the rest of the old actors. And I think his chemistry with the new actors was really well done in this film. But also with the old actors, especially Courtney Cox, they still have a great chemistry as they were in the franchise. I really like them two together and this film makes no difference. I really like David Arquette's character as Dewey in the film. I thought this movie took in directions that I did not expect. There are some moments in this film where I'm like, I did not expect that at all. I really liked how this film was trying to be something new. It's trying to be something different than the other movies in the Scream franchise. While other else trying to be a love letter to the Scream franchise and being a love letter to Wes Craven in general. And the directors of Ray and Not did a really great job directing this film. This film is also funny. Maybe not as funny as the other Scream movies. Like it doesn't go on with the comedy all that much in the film. It's more serious this film than the other Scream movies. But the comedy is still there. The comedy is really well done. There are some bits where I killed myself laughing in the film. But even the scares have a bit of humour into it and I really do like that in this film. There are some scares in the film where I'm like, alright, this movie's trying to take the piss out of us and I really did like that. You know what I'm talking about what scene. You know what I'm talking about. Do I have some issues with Scream 5? I would say yes. I reckon towards the third act, this film gets pretty predictable. There are moments in the film where I'm like, okay, I saw this coming. I know who's going to be Ghostface. I'm not going to spoil who it is, obviously. Ghostface even said itself, do not spoil, like, before the film, there's obviously a video saying, do not reveal who the killer is. I'm not going to reveal it, but I knew it was coming from the very beginning. And it's something that I'm like, okay, I shouldn't expect the character to be Ghostface, but I was like, yeah, I expected this to happen, and it didn't ruin the film, like, I was still having fun with it, but it's just, it just turns a bit predictable once in a while. And the rest of the new characters in the film... I just find them okay. They're nothing too new, they're nothing too special. They're just generic teenager characters. I like the main three that I just talked about. The rest of the characters, they're just okay. And I would say, like I said before, this film is much more serious than the comedy in the film. And the comedy is still there, don't get me wrong, but there wasn't much of that in this film. Like, the comedy really stands out in the other Scream movies, and that's what I like about the Scream franchise. It mixes horror and comedy really, really well. And this movie has its comedy, but it takes it more seriously throughout the most part of the film. But overall, guys, Scream 5 really did surprise me. I was not expecting to enjoy this film as much. I went to this film with low expectations, but this is a great love letter to the Scream franchise that keeps it nostalgic right, with the new cast being great, with the old cast, their chemistry all together was really well done in the film. Ghostface, still there, still one of my favourite slushes in the film, and it proves that in this film. The kills are much more brutal. The story was even much more interesting, and I was not expecting for some directions that happened in the film, and I think Scream 5 does a really great job. I actually wanted this franchise to continue, and I'm not expecting myself to say that. I really like this franchise because the movies just aren't a lot of fun, except for the third movie. I am going to give Scream 5 a B+. So guys, that is my review for Scream 5. Let me know what you think of this film in the comments below, and what is your favourite movie in the Scream franchise? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you guys follow me on social media links down below. Facebook, Stardust, Instagram, Twitter, and Letterboxd. Keep contact with me, and make sure you guys subscribe to my channel for, for my latest movie reviews. And, Ghostface, you want to take this away? Have a nice day.